it is an end of an era. Kimi Raikkonen retires from Formula 1 after the end of the 2021 Formula 1 season. F1 has hardly seen another driver with such a long and memorable career. Most of the veterans of the sport as we see today, like Vettel and Hamilton, joined Formula 1 several years into Raikkonen's career. Most of the young audience of Formula 1 do not remember a time when Raikkonen was not present in Formula 1. But now that he is gone, how does it affect the driver market and seats for the next year? Number 1. Botas to Alfa Romeo The most logical option for Alfa Romeo at the moment is Valtteri Botas. Botas would most likely have no place at Mercedes in 2022. And Alfa Romeo would definitely want to have one experienced driver alongside a relatively young driver for next year. It is also critical to have one experienced driver in the team for the team's developments and further growth in the next season. Number 2. Russell to Mercedes With Bottas gone, Russell is clearly the person to replace him. Even though it is perhaps a year late, Russell would definitely grab that opportunity and would likely give a tough competition to his new teammate Hamilton. This also in a way solves Toto's dilemma of how to sort out their two drivers. Toto had mentioned in one of the interviews earlier that he wants to ensure both the drivers get attractive programs for next year. This would just be the solution for his dilemma. Number 3. Alex Albon to Williams With their best driver and the podium winner of the team since 2017 gone, they are likely to turn towards Alex Albon, another young and promising driver with experience at AlphaTauri and Red Bull. This would be crucial for Alex to gain the necessary experience to get the promotion to AlphaTauri or Red Bull a couple of years down the line. It is too early to say, but Raikkonen's retirement clearly triggered a ripple effect that will gradually have an impact on the entire grid. In 2024, and Hamilton has retired, we could see a Russell Norris team at Mercedes. A couple of years down the line, Red Bull could have Verstappen teaming up with Gasly or Albon again. We could also see Mick replacing Antonio very soon and taking his first steps towards Ferrari. It is an end of an era, but in typical Raikkonen style, when he would leave, he would have surely shaken up the entire grid. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, consider subscribing to the channel if you like to watch similar content, and stay tuned to I Am Formula for everything Formula 1. Until next time, take care and stay safe.